Hey y'all, Patrick here. Now, a couple weeks ago, we looked at a DIY kit base uh, that was a lot of fun to put together, but now we have our completed DIY Harley Benton P-Style base, and it's pretty awesome. So compared to the last time y'all saw this base, uh, a few things have been done, mainly relicking for the most part, and a little bit more shaping uh, to the headstock. But other than that, this is just a simple DIY kit that I just did some little extra touches to and did my own kind of DIY thing to it, shaped the headstock, had some fun along the way, and it's all stock, and it's a pretty rad kit to say the least. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way first. This kit is $89 total, and it's pretty rad to say the least. It's a complete DIY kit, comes with everything that you need to have a working, suitable base. Uh, whether you're a beginner or intermediate, even me that I've been playing for, I don't even know how long now, I guess like 15 years or something, I've had a lot of fun with this base. Obviously when it comes to you, the shape is already there and everything, all you have to do is really shape the head stuck yourself and put everything else together and assemble everything. But throughout the entirety of me putting this base together and making it my own, I had a smile on my face the whole time because of just how fun and ridiculous you can make it yourself. I don't know, I just had an absolute blast putting this together. And now for the base itself, starting with the body, obviously it's a very familiar looking body and it's made of Rengas, which is an affordable but still solid wood that it's pretty rad to me. Uh, the fact, again, that you can get this entire kit for $89. Yeah, is everything gonna be on it be 100% the highest quality? No, it's not, come on, it's $89 total. But man, the body itself has a nice amount of weight to it and it feels solid as hell too. And of course, if you watch the first video about this base where I went through and changed everything out, you'll know that uh, I didn't stick with the stock white pit guard. I just went ahead and put my leftover fender tortoiseshell one on it that looks really good, especially against the pink. Of course, a very simple P-Base style layout of one pickup and a volume and tone knob, and that's it. That's really all you need. The pickup itself does sound pretty good in my opinion. Not great by any means, but it does have a nice bite to it. It could use a lot more bass and low end in my opinion, but that's just me. Complete with chrome hardware that I didn't even bother to age myself. I don't know why, maybe I should have, but it, eh. I don't know, I just like it the way that it looks right now. I had a blast going through, sanding everything down and just sort of like beating it up. I was mainly going for the vintage relic look like on my Justin Meldell Johnson Mustang base, where it's just super subtle and really fun to me. It just adds a lot of character to each instrument. And so it was just a lot of fun to sort of make it my own. Did I go over the top in a couple places? Maybe, but eh. Again, I just had a blast putting this all together. And then moving up, you have a 21 fret bolt on maple neck that originally came with that just block headstock style that I was able to sort of carve down the way I wanted. 
It's not perfect, but I'm still really satisfied by the actual look of it overall. You have an amaranth fretboard, which is basically a rosewood alternative, uh, and it feels pretty good. It's pretty dry in my opinion, so before you string this up, definitely go ahead and oil that fretboard down. And then we just have regular die-cast chrome tuners that don't do the best. Really, the hardware itself you could replace completely, and you'd still have a fantastic base. I think really the highlights of this kit itself is the body and the neck, just because you can shape the neck however you want, and on top of that too, it's still pretty damn good quality to say overall, especially for an $89 DIY kit base. But overall, I really have to say that I absolutely love this base. Is it the highest quality? No, it isn't, but I also wasn't expecting the highest quality either. It's just a super fun project to put together and really make my own too. And now, of course, I have a pink base, so I couldn't be happier right now. But of course, let me know what you guys think about these range of DIY bases from Harley Benton. I'll go ahead and link a couple down in the description in the comments below, just so you guys can take a look and maybe get some inspiration for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think about all these bases. And of course, I would say, let me know what you think about mine, but I think it's perfect. <laughs> but at the same time, I know it is absolutely nowhere near perfect, which is completely fine. The overall experience with this base has just been an absolute blast. But thank y'all so much for watching, as always, for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, follow me on social media, all that crazy stuff. Thank y'all so much much. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. If you want to be like one of these beautiful people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, again, thank you so much for watching as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that base, try out a DIY kit. They are a lot of fun. Just make it your own and go crazy with it. And I'll see y'all next time.